Hi friends, uh, welcome to PLCTL video tutorial. This session I am going to explain about uh, dynamic cursor type called sysref cursor. So previous sessions have already explained on strong cursor and uh, weak cursor. Those are weakly typed and strongly typed. Then this is another type called sysref cursor. So about two are strongly and weakly both are types. We have to declare as a type. But this is a variable type. Variable type. So we can declare as a variable directly we can use that. But uh, ref cursor, normal ref cursors we have to create as a type then we can create as a variable then only we can use that. Then so this also is a dynamic type. So whenever you are using that time it will create a cursor area then it will go to your physical database location and it will fetch the data. So this is the concept of dynamic cursors. So this variable you can store multiple values. So I'm going to give one sample example to store multiple values in sysref cursor. If you have a requirement to return multiple values in your function without collections, without collections, I can go for this. Uh, here I have an example. Here you can see I have created one function, get any table data. Input parameter is my table name, so I can pass any table name and it will return the data. Then, so my return type is you can see sysref cursor. That is a variable. Again, I have declared variable here sysref cursor. If I'm passing employee table, it will go to this. It will fetch the data. You can see here open my variable name for the select statement. Same thing for if I am passing department table, it will return this data. Let's run this in SQL develop SQL plus or SQL developer. Select any table or get any table. If my function name is get any table I'm passing the DEPT from there. Now you can see it is returning multiple values and multiple columns data. Then same thing if you are returning uh, if you are trying to get a employee table now you can see this. So this is the way we can go for fetching multiple rows and fetching multiple columns using the sysref cursor cursor variable. It's a cursor variable, dynamic cursor variable. Okay, then I have another function with a direct a single uh, table. You can see here without parameters here. I return sysref cursor. I'm declaring a variable sysref cursor. I'm opening this first statement. You can see, but here I'm not closing this cursor. So directly select emp out. I'm, I don't have any parameters. For this function, directly I'm calling this. So it's getting complete employee table data. Okay, this is for class. Directly I'm declaring this. You can see this is select statement. I'm returning my sysref cursor variable data, whatever stored in the sysref cursor. I'm returning it. So this is the way we can go for using sysref cursor. So here also I have a PL SQL block where Returning the data. So first, I'm declaring my sysref cursor variable, and I'm declaring another variable, a row type. Then I'm opening my sysref cursor. Here you can see first employee table, and I'm fetching data from this and storing into another row type variable. Then I'm reading the data. 